We have also been monitoring what was a developing story outside of D.C. Superior Court, and that's where police sealed the area off after finding a suspicious package. Our Randy Ayala was already there to preview a hearing happening today and has more on what happened. Uh, the scene cleared about 45 minutes ago, but for about two hours this morning, this entire area surrounding the courthouse was shut down uh, for a suspicious package. Take a look at what the scene looked like. You can see quite the scene here. Dozens of officers here showing up with K9 units and the bomb squad, but nothing suspicious was found inside the red bag tied to the flagpole in front of the courthouse. In about two hours, the preliminary hearing for the two teens accused in a shooting outside Dunbar High School will continue. We'll be watching to see whether or not the defendants will face two felony counts of assault with intent to kill. Two people were hurt in this shooting, a young man in a passing car and a Dunbar student in class at the time. A bullet grazed her head. We were in court yesterday while attorneys went through surveillance video. The prosecution says 18-year-old Azari Graves and 17-year-old Sakai Frost, who's been being charged as an adult, were caught on camera outside Dunbar High School May 3rd shooting at a passing car. In court, we learned five boys inside a Chevy Cruze were at Dunbar that morning talking to a group of girls. The boys drove off but were called back. When they returned, prosecutors say the defendants opened fire. 22 shell casings were recovered on the ground, six bullet holes on the high school building. That hearing starts at 11 o'clock this morning. The defendants remain held without bond. In Northwest, Randy Ayala, WUSA 9.